Let's go. Hey, hello to the CYC families and the CYC students. I miss y'all. Um, <clears throat> I love y'all. I'm thinking about you all the time. To my kids at Crown that I know. Hi. And to my kids at Epstein that I see daily. What's up, y'all? How you doing? How you holding up? And to all the people that I don't know, hi, I'm Miss Kiana. I am a youth worker at Sydney Epstein, who was formerly a youth worker at Rebecca Crown. Something that has been getting me through this time personally is poetry. I think that there's a lot of different emotions people could be feeling right now, a lot of different ways people could be spending their days processing what's happening in the world and for me I like to get creative to work through how I'm feeling but also creative to stay fun creative to make things interesting so I'm not doing the same thing every day so I'm not just watching tv but I'm also creating during this time which I think is super important to stay creating whether that's building a fort whether that is making a puzzle if it's writing a poem, if it's singing, if it's doing karaoke with your family, if it's dancing, whatever it may be. So this first video is for early elementary school kids. If you feel, if someone's not early elementary, but this works for them, do it, definitely do it. Um, I split it up into three categories, but you definitely can watch them all, you can do them all. Whatever is in your skill range works for you. You make that decision. Um, so the first one, poem that I want us to work on today is a who am I poem. So when I think about who am I, I think of adjectives. And if you haven't heard of adjectives, let me spell it out for you. And it was at this moment that Kiana knew she messed up. I definitely thought that this was recorded backwards, so I spent time fixing this word to look the correct way that I now realize editing was correct the whole time. So you're going to see this word spelled backwards now for a while. Me thinking that I just did something phenomenal. Anyway, carry on. Adjectives. Adjectives are words that describe things. So an adjective that I would use to describe this table is sturdy. I would say it is black. If I were to describe the sun, I would say hot, yellow or orange, blazing, powerful, necessary. Oh, I want us to think about adjectives for this poem of who am I? How would you describe yourself? For me, I would say I am positive, I am cheerful, I am sensitive, I am kind, I am clumsy, and I can go on and on and on about all the things that I am. So I want us to take a moment, pause the video now, and make a list of all the things that you are. If you could come up with five things, that would be great. If you can do more, please do more, but I want us to at least aim for five words that you would use to describe yourself. If you're doing this with a guardian or an older sibling, maybe they can help you look up online, look up positive adjectives. Google has a thousand words that can describe you. Maybe you've done an activity like this before, but let's work on thinking of five words about ourselves. Awesome. So I came up with my list of five. Caring, clumsy, cool, compassionate, cheerful. I kind of started on a theme of C's and then decided to go with it. If you want to also come up with five words that start with the same letter, bonus points to you, but you don't have to. It's not necessary. So now with these words, I'm going to erase and we can work on our poem. Has anyone heard of a simile? If you have, shout it out, even though I can't hear you. Two important things to know about similes. They use the words like or as. 
So if I were going to describe, um, if I were going to describe myself using a simile, I would say Miss Kiana is powerful like the sun. So that's a simile because I use the word like to describe me. I am comparing myself, comparing means same, similar to, something that they have in common. I am powerful, I believe that I am, I believe that the sun is powerful because how would we live without the sun? So I am comparing myself to the sun using the word like. Now that we learned what adjectives are and now that we learned what a simile is, we can put them together in our poem. So we're going to use the words that we uh, already came up with to describe ourselves and we're going to make a poem out of them. If you came up with five words, then we're going to do a five line poem. If you have more words, you can do more lines. My first line of an example is going to be, Miss Kiana is cool like ice. That is my first line. So I, and I'm going to underline where I just used that word. My next line of my poem to describe me is compassionate is she. And my next line will be, what word do I want to use next? I want to use the word, what did I say? Clumsy, that, that is definitely a word to describe me. I spill things a lot, I trip over things. We have, Miss Kiana is cool like ice. Compassionate is she. Always spilling drinks because she is clumsy. Two more words. I see that she is caring by how she works with kids. So with each line, you could easily just say, I could have said, Miss Kiana is cool. Miss Kiana is compassionate. Miss Kiana is clumsy. Miss Kiana is caring. And that is a poem if you want it to be. And you can also make it more interesting by starting the sentence with a different word every time. So instead of starting each line with Miss Kiana is, I started, I started each line with a different word. I see that she is caring. Instead of saying, she is caring, I see that she is caring by how she works with kids. So I gave you, so I gave you an example of why I'm caring. So the line is more than just Miss Kiana is caring. Now we know why she's caring. You don't have to rhyme in poetry. I just think it would be kind of cool if this last line rhymed. So now I'm trying to think what rhymes with kids. Don't forget cheerful. That's just who she is. Who am I? Miss Kiana is cool like ice. Compassionate is she. Always spilling drinks because she is clumsy. I see that she is caring by how she works with kids. Don't forget cheerful. That's just who she is. So now this is my poem. I used five different adjectives to describe myself and I used a simile somewhere in the poem. You don't need to. I just thought it would be fun to show you a new way that you can do poetry if this was if this wasn't something that it was as easy for you, then do your best in coming up with those five words about yourself and you can just write out every single line with, mm, let's say your name is Xylan. Then every line would be Xylan is cool. Xylan is compassionate. Xylan is clumsy. Xylan is caring. And Xylan is cheerful. And that would be wonderful for you to write out. And maybe you can tape it up somewhere. So if you're having a bad day or a hard time, you can always remember the beautiful things about yourself because all of us have so many wonderful, beautiful things about each and every one of us. And that is the first poetry video for my early elementary kids. I hope that you all are doing well. I hope that you're staying safe. I wish you all the best. Bye.